Today's video, we're taking the $100 1.5 ton aluminum racing jack from Harbor Freight Tools. We're gonna to be adding the 911 Motorsports off-road floor jack conversion, so stick around. So this is my current jack setup. This is a probably $50 kind of uh, hole in the wall tool shop discount tool jack. Now I've had it for a very long time and does it work? Yes. Does it work very good? No. Uh, I don't like it, but uh, I've never hated it enough to spend money on another jack. So this is very slow. It takes a lot of pumps to get it up. And I mean a lot. And in my application with the Jeep, with these really high frame rails and the lift and the big 40 inch tires, I'm always using all kinds of combination of stacking boards and stuff to try and even get up to my frame or my bumpers or anywhere to lift my axles or lift my frame or lift my skid plate or anything like that. And uh, it's kind of a pain. And it's kind of sketchy a lot of times using all these super long two by fours to try and get up to where I need to go. When I was doing the transmission job on this, I actually drilled out this pad and added like this little 3 16 plate so I could actually make these stands and get up. I have a couple other the of these that go on here and I could actually get up to my skid plate to take it off. So this jack has been old reliable. It has never let me down, but it has to go. Now 911 Motorsports makes these big wheel off-road conversions with different size wheels, different size jacks, depending on what you wanna do with the jack. So that's really up to you. There's a lot of different variants that you can get. I wanted to use the smallest jack that I could use because I wanna take it with me in the Jeep. I wanna have a mount for it in the trailer or in my truck. I just wanna have, to be able to move it around and not have this huge, I could, this thing is so heavy, it is ridiculous. I just wanna use the smallest jack that I can to get what I need done. So they have a 1.5 ton kit, two ton jack, two and a half ton jack, three ton jack. So you can get it in pretty much any of the aluminum racing jack sizes that you can get from Harbor Freight. The one and a half ton is the smallest, the lightest. It is the cheapest. So this one is only 99 bucks. Smaller and lighter is better in my opinion. So all those things led me to wanting to do the one and a half ton jack. I have weighed my Jeep and it is about 1100 pounds per corner. So 1.5 tons, which is the rating of this, is 3000 pounds. So if I'm lifting up 90% of the time, you're lifting up one corner of your vehicle or at the most, you're lifting up half of it. 1.5 tons, 3000 pounds is gonna be perfect for my application. Smooth. Try to mop the floor with it. Oops. Uh, so yeah, that doesn't help. Like if you're jacking something up, and then this slides out, and it pops up, and then you can't get it back in. That's kind of a problem that I have sometimes. Ready and time. Usually, I'm under the car like this. That's how that usually goes. 911 Motorsports is a local Pacific Northwest company out of Bend, Oregon. This is one of the first one and a half ton kits that anybody has ever used. All these pieces are aluminum here, except for the main shaft right here. This appears to be steel because this is heavier than this one. This is a solid piece of aluminum. It looks like aluminum. And then we have, looks like an extra snap ring in case you lose one or break one. That's pretty cool. A bunch of our washers and spacers. We got our big wheels right here and we got our short extension and then this is different for the 1.5 ton i believe this is a pin that just replaces this pad so we're gonna have to take this bar out right here and then this has the hole for the stock bar that's going to be super easy just snap ring pliers in like a minute or two and that'll be out and that is going to go there and then the extension piece just slides right onto that 
it's that simple. And then if you're trying to get crazy, you got the uh, super long extension, which will replace my two by four setup. With one plate on to the rear, the rear is gonna be that one piece solid aluminum. So we put one side in, slide it in, and we're gonna slide this side on and then reuse that lower bolt uh, back into the hydraulic part of the jack and then utilizing the two factory bolts with their own lock washers and then the provided nuts. I'm gonna do the same thing on the front first. I'm gonna install the tires last. So just taking out a couple of bolts. Now before we install this axle, we are going to install the skid plate, which is gonna go right over the top like this and tie into this axle right here. And then it came with two rivets that we will use these pilot holes to drill and then we'll rivet these in here. So that should line up here and then we can install our axle, making sure we're installing our aluminum sleeve in the middle, the spacer sleeve. Perfect. Next up is I'm gonna replace this stock saddle with the extension adapter. So I'm just gonna use my snap ring pliers. This is probably gonna be the easiest thing to do. Yeah. That's pretty darn easy. Should remove this. And as you can see here, this plate here and this new one. So it should just slide right in and we will be in business. And it does, perfect. Re-snap ring it. So with this done, got all my axles on. I went through everything and tightened every bolt on this thing. Uh, just to be sure some of the ones that I hadn't even touched were loose. So those are now all tight and uh, time to throw the wheels on. So let's install the sleeves and then the wheel. So we got our washer. It's going to space that wheel out just a tiny bit. We got our sleeve. And same on the other side, washer, sleeve. wheel. I'm going to use a dab of blue Loctite on both of these front bolts and then lock them down. There we go. And if you want, you can throw some lube on there, some grease, anything like that. But if I plan on using it in the dirt and off-road and in the garage, it's going to get covered in like grime and dirt and stuff. And then the grease will stick to it and eventually will make it worse. But you can just pull the wheels off and clean it. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is for right now with nothing in there because it seems to roll really nicely. Now the rear is going to be a similar process just with snap rings. Two washers of these big washers to space that wheel out past this big nut right here. And slide it on. And then another one. And then our snap ring. Another wheel. Another washer. No snap ring. And that should be it. So let's go ahead and put the short extension on and then our jacking pad. Get it squared up under my lower control arm mount. Three pumps and the tires off the ground, which is way better than before. Shaking it pretty hard there and uh, it's not moving. Okay, we got the whole front off the ground by several inches on both sides. I am trying to make it fall off the jack stand right now and I cannot. That is uh, pretty solid. So let's check out the height difference after the kit. So we were at 14 and a quarter before and now we are at about 17 and a quarter. And with the shorter extension, we are at 22. 
And with the longer extension, we are at 27. Now, if you buy the complete kit, it's gonna come with these universal jack mounts, which you can mount them anywhere you want to, the back of your truck, the back of your Jeep, in your trailer, whatever you wanna do with them. Under here, you're gonna have your jack handle in two pieces right there in the center. Then your jack will go on top of this, and this will be obviously bolted down wherever you're gonna be at. Then you gotta figure out where you wanna mount it, and it has these tabs right here that you figure out the tire width and basically bend these tabs to kind of lock the tires in a little bit so it doesn't slide around side to side. And then basically you're gonna be using just a regular old ratchet strap on this plate right here and wrap it around the jack however you need to to make it super solid and then ratchet it down here on the other side. Now I got two of these because one of these is gonna go in the back of the TJ. I am making, coming up soon, not currently at the moment, I wish I was, but I'm gonna be making a storage rack system in the back, which is gonna be able to mount my jack, mount my onboard air that I'm gonna be working on here pretty soon as well, and uh, have storage for my tools, my overland camping gear, and uh, you know, just all the stuff that I can take with me when I don't have the back seat in and the kids are going. One mount's gonna be for the Jeep, and then the other mount, it fits perfectly. This jack fits exactly inside the new trailer tongue box that I installed on my trailer. So now I can bring this to the trail, to the trailhead, anywhere that I'm taking my trailer, I'm in my truck, I'm gonna have this jack, which is gonna be super convenient and really nice to have it with me. So let's go out to the trailer, mark it up, drill some holes, mount it up, and I'll show you what it looks like. I have the jack up inside the box. I have it bolted down just loosely uh, and sitting in here because I need to mark where I am going to bend this. So I'm bend this one here, and then we'll take it back out and then get it into the vise and bend it up. So here's the tabs bent. I got my hardware in. That was just scrap hardware I had laying around in my bin. It's the one bent right here. So let's put it all together and it'll be all done. Well, there we go. Ratchet strapped in, locked in place. It's not gonna go anywhere. So I'm gonna have another bag over here with the extensions and the pad that goes to this. And I'll still have rooms for all my straps and my uh, towing recovery stuff that I'm gonna store in here for the trailer. Well, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. 911 Motorsports actually sent me a, a mount to adapt these mounting pads and extensions for these jacks to a bottle jack so i have that coming up i'll make a video on that i would do not have time today to do it and put it into this video also sent me some plasma cutter stencils the round ones so you can make perfect round cuts with your plasma cutter with these stencils i'll be using these in future videos as well and if you want to follow me on social media i am at muddybeards 4x4 you can check out our website muddybeards4x4.com got a link for our amazon store and for our shirts and stickers and stuff like that and if you want to support 911 Motorsports as well and check out these cool jack stuff that I'm testing out, I'll leave a link in the description and you can go check it out. I'll leave the website link there for you as well. Until next time, guys, we'll see you on the trail.